I've been making my own logs from horse manure, burning them inside this big log burner that's got a back boiler on it, and it's also got a little huge thermal mass sand battery. So obviously these are free to me, and all the wood that I've got around the farm is too. Usually you'd be throwing in lots of blocks like this, or lots of wood, pretty regularly throughout the night, and then by the morning it's going to be stone cold. But with the addition of this sand battery that I've got behind here, which if I lift this rock up you'll see, it's basically just lots and lots of sand packed behind here to give a massive amount of thermal mass and absorb a lot of the waste heat that would usually be lost going up the flue. Now as well as capturing all that usually heat that would be wasted up the flue, there's the back boiler on this which feeds the radiator system for the house. And the back boiler attaches to this pump and behind this giant cube of insulation somewhere in there you can just about make out a thousand litre tote full of water. Usually back boilers work on convection, i.e. the hot water rises up the pipe and then pulls the cold water up behind it. But, as you can see, my pipes come down through my floor. That's why I need this pump to push the water from the tank back up through the radiator system and then back into the tank along the other side. Now, yes, this is a plastic tank with a plastic lid, but this water never really gets above 50 degrees, so never going to melt the plastic. But what it does do is give me a 1,000 litres of extra water for thermal mass energy storage within my radiator system. Now, all that extra water in the radiator system by itself provides several extra hours, at least three to four extra hours of really good high temperatures coming out of the radiators by itself. When you throw in the sand battery behind all this, providing energy back into the back boiler from behind, you're talking six to eight hours at least. We've had almost 10 hours when we've got the water really warm out of this. So that'll work out for most people all the way through the night. So you put your last bit of log in or coal or horse poo, and then all the way through the night, right till morning, you've got a warm house, got warm radiators. Really cheap to build this sort of system because a lot of people give these sort of log burners away now because they're not really useful for anyone with a new build. And then the radiators are the same. A lot of people just give away radiators because it's cheaper than paying somebody to take them away. So yeah, if you've got access to free wood or horse poo, I would highly recommend you look into some sort of log burner back boiler system for heating uh, whatever off-grid scenario you're in. And if you are thinking about doing something similar, the only thing I would say, get a bigger pump to pump the radiator system around, then you can run this even hotter, and you can even, as I'm potentially gonna do soon, run this on oil.